Alright, so we're back with Swarm Persona 3, and the farm continues as uh, Junpei is level 59, so he should be about where we need him to be in order to do the next uh, giant shadow boss fight, in order to, to continue working our way towards Mar the Margaret fight. However, uh, I need money, <laughs> because even if we end up winning the giant boss fight, at this point, I'll have actually zero money and no way to uh, recover from that because the clock is just asking for almost like 600k a time now. And well, <laughs> as unsurprised as you might be to hear it, uh, we don't really got the money like that. So. We did get a homo boost on our insta kill guy, which I still don't know how this doesn't guarantee insta kills when you have very high. Very high odds, plus Hama boost, but apparently it happens. I think Ice was fine against you. It is. Unfortunately, you still have a lot of HP. Oh good, Jupiter is actually fast enough to make something happen here. That's light damage, heavy strike. Hopefully that's enough for a kill. That animation always makes me think the game's gonna bug out because of how it looks. It just looks very wonky. I can't imagine I'm the only one that thinks that. Surely. Surely this is doable. Gotcha. Oh, it waited. Let's go. You know what that means. Dang. Don't miss him, Kari. Oh, he's weak against Pierce. Let's go. Alright. Record Maru? Oh, baby. We'll definitely have to check that out at uh, the antique store whenever we get back there. I mean, I don't know what Persona Koromaru could possibly be with that knife in order to actually get the uh, ultimate knife for him. I suppose if we really want to, we could look it up, which I'm not necessarily against because the amount of experimentation I would have to do in order to find it naturally would be quite a bit. But, uh, you know, if, I guess if we really want to, we can. Like, I'm not too against that. However, that will be much of there as we're still in here. Fire break instead of regular Augie? Fair enough, I guess. You're gonna get access to single target heavy fire, which is nice, but your magic stat is so pathetic that it doesn't really mean anything like that. Oh good. Okay, it's not the Minotaur. Well, that's better. Really would prefer not to take that damage, but here we are. Yeah, it's like Junpei really is like a beating, but then it's like all of his HP skills cost like 50 plus at this point. Ooh, that plus 10 P though, give me. You know, it was only one enemy, I didn't, didn't know what I was really expecting out of the plus 10 e XP there, but... Uh, I mean, it wasn't, for what enemy, it wasn't bad. I mean, overall, it wasn't fantastic XP, for, but considering it was only against one enemy, uh, what are the chances that we go down there and find anything? Probably not that high, so we'll go ahead and just continue onwards. There doesn't seem to be a single enemy on this floor. I have a bad feeling about this. Uh, trying to tell me that the Reaper's gonna be in here? Is that what you're telling me? Well, there's the stairs immediately. She said she had a bad feeling about this. Obtained one B. Uh, okay. Be careful! I sense death. Ooh, Reaper time? Uh, I, I, mm, Jupiter's really not built like that to be doing it. 
Ah, jeez. Uh, I really don't even have personas on me like that to be playing now. I guess Michael's alright, but I don't have, like, mind charges set up or anything, like, or power charge or nothing. Yeah. And you know, light insta kill isn't gonna work on him, so he's basically useless, which puts me down to essentially just Michael. Uh, yeah. I mean, the skills aren't bad, but, like, Junpei's really not built like that just yet to be fighting the Reaper, nonetheless. Uh, yeah, Burf, I mean, the other two, I mean, they're mostly, I mean, aren't we only missing, like, one or two skills on you? Ooh, you're missing your full party HP heal, though, that's pretty bad, I would definitely want that going into the fight. Because if I don't, that's essentially gonna force me into the healing role, which means your party has to do damage, which that's not happening. Oh, man, we get Ice Amp next? Alright, so we're skipping this opportunity to fight the Reaper. Uh, we're still slightly handicapped by Junpei here, so... Uh, we're making the executive decision to avoid it for now. However, we will be fighting the Reaper at some point. Watch out! There are four enemies! Come on, Papa Boo Simsaka. Surely you can get... Okay, well... Last one. Don't let your guard down. I won't miss. This thing won't give up. Only one yeah, I'm gonna lose so much HP for this for no reason. Oh, come on now. I mean, Spring of Life will at least refund me a little bit of Junpei's HP. Mitsuru's HP. I lost more HP on Mitsuru than Junpei? Really, man? Nah, well, he's gonna continue along with it. Alright, 71 gets this weapons master on you. Not that he really exists to me, but sure. Text me for being charmed. I mean, it's very much so. Who cares? Auto, I guess, nullify charms. Whatever. Nullify ice and repel dark is pretty good. Though you're not weak to either of those. Arrow rain is what? Two times medium? That's my only AoE physical skill on you, though. I think I'm gonna keep that. Alright, we have the stairs right there, just in case the Reaper wants to immediately follow us. I don't think that should be the case, but uh, I, also, I also don't want to just get randomly clapped by the Reaper, so... Very high odds plus Hama boost, by the way. What is this game, bro? Yeah. What are these needles? Apparently, they just dodge everything. Bro. Heavy strike. I think that's my only strike attack. And it's single target. Unfortunately, that's fine. As long as it actually hits, it'll be. What are these needles? Oh my, I'm getting tricked right now, like, what is this? Why are these beetles built different? This might have actually just killed <laughs> on the Tyrion Jupit. Oh good, they went after Yukari instead. That works out. Uh, I can't even do damage to these guys without using, like, Samsara or something on my main. Unless I switch the Persona, but... Which I can definitely do. Surely we can get rid of this beetle before it attacks the man, right? Surely, the man's got one HP. You know, Spring of Life really don't be feeling all too great. I mean, 38, 35 HP is like nice and all, but considering every skill I have takes more than that, uh, you know. I'm not saying it needs to refund every one of my uh, HP skills, I'm just saying, you know, a little bit more of a refund would be nice. It is kind of nice that they give them natural, like, HP regen. I mean, a lot of uh, your physical fighters in the game, of course, tend to uh, get some form of, like, invigorate or something to help them with the HP cost. None of them naturally learn Arm Master from what I remember. Well, it seems like a very strange choice if you're going to make them so heavily physical focused, but then not you know, like, reward them a little more, but that's... Enemies left. Very high odds, by the way. Just, you know, very high odds. Am I right? 
grounds here. <laughs> and everybody is sure, why not? Any block wins, that's great. We have initiative, at the very least. There are three enemies left. Uh, medium slash damage, I guess, sure. At least it hits everyone. For 20. For 23 damage. Oh boy. This is so sad. I need to access the Subsara again already. Yeah, this is gonna hurt. Ow. I don't think you're weak necessarily to any of these, but sure. Like, the fact that your baby HP, like, or your baby attacks take so much HP once you level up is crazy. Light damage when it costs me 45 HP? That's what should have happened the first time, but you know, some sorry, stay trolling, so. Should probably grab the money, but I think I don't have Loki on me at the moment. Alright, well, I'm back to healing. This isn't gonna last too long if I gotta heal as much as I do every time after a fight. It still always never makes sense that the healer doesn't learn Spellmaster. Because, you know, they're supposed to be your healer, you kind of, you know, need them to have the SP to heal. I guess they always give them naturally uh, higher SP pools as a result, but uh, you know, some of these spells be expensive. Especially exploring targets like this. Don't let your guard down. I forgot I don't have regular Augie anymore. We at least have Fire Break. I guess I would rather have Fire Break over Augie. Since they can set up people like myself and Core Mar, as well as Junpei, even though Junpei really don't be doing magic damage like that. Ahead and give me my XP increase. Oh, good. All right. Well, Yukari's essentially maxed out. Just getting uh, stats at this point. Full HP healing, about time. 69 magic. You love to see it. Move it. Gotcha. All right. We know they're weak against ice. So we'll just let the two deal with it. I kind of, surely they will learn God Hand at some point. I wonder if he'll end up learning Primal Force. Rank 10 Weaponry, kind of nice, but that XP, though. 3k XP, sure, why not? 64 for your next level. Pretty in there. Two more levels in Mizir. It hits 76. That'll be very nice for that Ice Amp. Magic slowly but surely growing on Mitsuru as well. Very helpful. There are three of them. I don't Stay have enough first. for Simsar anymore. That's unfortunate. Well, I've only got enough for two, two of these as well. That's not great. But at least it's said, why does that land more than Simsar? <laughs> Ah, oh, that's such good damage, and that's even before, uh, Ice Amp. It won't kill with Ice Amp, but it'll be far closer than what it is. He really lived with one HP. Nice, enough to get another shuffle time, another rank 10 XP, alright, well. Keep feeding me these, and our farming life is going to be so much easier as a result. I don't know if I really want to save that guy's level, because every time I have to recall him, he's going to be extremely expensive later on. But if I don't, then he's not going to have Hama Boost for later. Of course, we could just give him a level 3 to get Hama Boost, but 
Uh, and apparently it doesn't seem to matter all that much considering how often Samsara doesn't even clear the entire encounter. Okay then, well, you know, they just really, really gotta get Alice, man, but I don't know where that chariot Arcana person is. I think he's in the lower tier. But I don't even know what personas I would even pull in order to make that happen. I could probably look it up if I really wanted to, but I'd love to do it naturally, at least on the first playthrough. Second playthrough, we already beat the game. Who cares? It's just achievement hunting at that point, right? You're unworthy. Yoichi's bow. Okay, so <laughs> well, I wonder who could use this. 318, legendary archer's bow, plus three magic. Dude, nice. Good attack increase. We get a plus three magic increase on our healer. Absolute. I'm rather not. Alright, well, I have a feeling I was going to be able to get around. Okay, so it's alright. I don't have anything to skill with. I'm just going to go this way. have that much SP like that, but you can already can at least get full heal us up a little bit. Well, he's not really doing much for us at this point. I guess we're going down the pistol eh? Well, these guys are weak to win, so... He really lived with one HP. I mean, I guess that works. It sets me up for, it sets me up for an all-out attack, so hopefully I can get a better... XP rank card here. Continue the grind, or just, you know, pull anything but that. Okay, then. I'm pretty sure we have Raphael on us, but I don't remember. Nah, we had Michael, not Raphael, currently. I'm kind of surprised Gabriel hasn't actually shown up for us. Like, I know we've had the opportunity to fuse Gabriel, but the fact that they don't show up in the regular pool is kind of interesting. Watch out! There are four enemies! Well, you're the more annoying of the group. Alright, well. And Junbei can knock down this entire set so long as I don't miss any attacks here. The fact that Junbei only has one AoE attack at, what, level 64, 65 ish or something is kind of wild. Like, even Akihiko gets AoE magic coverage, even if it's like straight up weak electric, he still at least has some level of coverage. Junpei's like, oh, I've got one AoE attack, and uh, well, you know, that's about it. It's like, oh, okay then. At least if you're gonna do that, make you like single target physical attacks be overpowered or something, you know? Something to make up for the lack of coverage. What are you looking like? Hey, gold hand? Okay. Okay, well... What? Are you gonna tell me that day hit? Bruh. Ain't no way. What? Okay. I'm getting trolled so hard right now. That was definitely supposed to go on the flyer, considering he blocks. Oh, Mitsuru is not here. That's really bad. This is extremely bad right now. This is... Oh my gosh. <laughs> I, I need to go, but like Junpei's down, so something tells me my chances of uh, going are not great. But we actually have our full HP getting on us now. Forgot about that. Right, we're, we're slightly better off, but we also used all of our essentially uh, once more chances just in that first barrage there. Sorry to keep you waiting. Yeah, Junpei, stop keeping me waiting. But uh, yeah, we've seen how this plays out. As long as I actually land all of my attacks here, we'll be fine. Uh, if we don't, though. The Siri trolling me real hard right now. <laughs> like, the Siri, please, what are you doing to me? I 
behind you, but I don't miss this last one. Don't troll me. There we go. It may not kill, though, because we don't have this here. Right? They're relatively weak, though. I still did, like, 400-ish damage to some of them. Well, we have Loki on us. Of course, I just full healed after that, but sure, I'll take the full heal. At least I assume rank 10 is a full heal. Why wouldn't it be? I really gotta keep moving up floors, though. If I need to keep farming money, I can't really be sitting on floors like that. We should have enough for a single heal, but if we're gonna end up doing the uh, giant shadow fight, I'm gonna need more money, because as soon as I'm done with that fight, I'll more than likely have to heal. And if I have to use a heal already, I'm probably gonna be down to 100k or less. So then by the time I actually get back there, then uh, I'm already gonna need another heal after flight, and then if I'll have money, then I'm gonna have to come back in here and just kinda only run for chest, and that's not gonna go fantastically. I really don't have anything to deal with this. Uh, we have some baby elemental gems, though. These guys were weak to electric, as far as I remember. Like electric to everybody? Yeah, that'll work. Are you proud of me, guys? I'm finally making use out of items that we got out of Tartarus. Break <laughs> 8 XP, give me that. 3k XP, absolute. Strength and agility, I mean, sure, why not? I don't think you have a single physical attack on you. I will take that agility, though. Heavy fire, brave blade, okay. Junbei actually learns all of his skills relatively early. Which I guess isn't too, too surprising. He does get his uh, second awakening relatively quickly. And Siru has SP at the moment, so we can let her deal with this. We always have Spirit Drain, although like every skill I need requires essentially more than 20 SP at this point. Kind of like negates the usefulness of Spirit Drain, although considering you get it earlier, I guess you can still use it, but it certainly doesn't scale into late game, I guess I can say that much. Rank 10 XP, absolutely give me that. Nice. 4500 XP, there we go. 75, we're getting there. I think that crossed one of the uh, level barriers that we needed for one of the Pentagon fusions. I want to say that's the case anyways. I had a feeling it was going to be Vorpal Blade. Ten levels for it, though. Hi, yeah, yeah. Ten levels for it. Uh, uh, is probably fine at this point. So it's really more so just farming uh, money. So that way I can do that fight and then come back heal and then get Akihigo ready for the next one. Strike first. All right, well, just like the last one, we'll let Mitsuru deal with it. Unless my main here just goes ham on these guys. Nah, all right, well, you know Mitsuru's here for a reason. I'm still really not impressed with, like, Junpei's uh, move set here. You got heavy fire, but then you don't have the magic to really make it work. You also have the Mad Death There's Gabriel. Gabriel must be of the rare set in here. Well, now we don't have to fuse Gabriel anymore. That's kind of nice. But yeah, Junpei not really uh, impressing me with his moveset. All single target. You're finally starting to get the high damage. Only took you like 65 levels it's still all only single target you have a single aoe skill and people are probably going to be like oh he's supposed to be like a single target specialist okay sure but like his best skill only does heavy damage like we don't even have severe damage on this guy yet i mean i imagine that's probably what mortal blade is going to end up being for us but even still Oh, 
And, uh, you know, people might have been told you that I got a rid of Dune Bay as soon as I did, but I I'm pretty content with the choice that I made to remove Dune Bay when I did, considering uh, the growth I've seen from him now, you know, towards the end game, just really doesn't seem like uh, it's the greatest. I mean, his quote-unquote unique skill is a very much so whatever. Oh, I get 35 HP back or whatever. Yeah, every attack I do costs me more than that 35. Though it does help offset the cost of it quite a bit. But even then, like, he seems to take a lot of damage despite having probably some of the highest endurance, if not like the highest endurance in the game. Hey, we got a key one kill this. All right, I'll take it. Go ahead and get our June pay. Money wise, we're still only at 658k. Not great. Could be better. That's teleporter. Alright, we're good to get out of this area. It's been very rare that we've actually gotten those rooms that were just all blank like that with one chest where Fuka was like, I got a bad feeling about this. Very rare. We also haven't gotten a room in forever that's like forcibly split up our party. Then again, I guess we don't really go on Tartarus the days where they're considered unstable. It'd be nice to see, like, some sort of incentive to go on the days where it's unstable, rather than always just being like, well, but it's unstable, I guess I'll just go a different day, sort of thing. Be like, oh, it's unstable, but you might be able to get more XP or uh, limited items that only come from the times when it's when it's unstable like that, you know, something that incentivizes you to go on days like that rather than just being like, ah, I'll just go the next day. Okay then. Thanks, Junpei. And nothing I have here is great. I'll have enough SP to do Spirit Drain. And I'm gonna have to use Yukari basically in order to make this happen. This is gonna hurt, especially with the defense down. Right, well, Junpei done for. Oh my. Please be careful. Uh, I think we gotta go. I don't think I. Uh, geez. Uh, well, this is a thing that's happening. Uh, that's definitely not gonna kill. I would need like strike damage, and I don't have strike damage like that. Uh. <laughs> oh boy, really? Uh, mm. This is uh, this is not good. <laughs> well, wait a minute. If ever I pick up, I just get instant dropped. I mean, uh, June Bay. If I gave him a full HP one, but then if he ever misses, everybody's dead. Assuming they don't just immediately attack me right now and I end up dying anyways. I mean, a bead chain at least would give me two heals, but that's uh, not exactly what I'm looking for. I don't have any items that instantly escape me out of here. That's it. Uh... Hey, yeah, yeah. Uh. Jeez. Uh, what? Uh, well. Saved. <laughs> oh, my. Oh boy, well, they live. Not really the way I wanted to go about reviving them like that, but it's either that or leave them on the floor, and I can't, you know, I can't really leave them like that, so. Alright, so all of Yukari's SP, which means we're basically SP list going on to this floor. Uh, you know what? <laughs> I don't think we want to be here anymore. Uh, I think we need to go. <laughs> heal jeez just barely enough to finish that uh all right surely we can take akihiko now junpei has been good but i gotta level akihiko now we're only missing one skill being vorpal blade from you so i'm not really too uh spooked uh, i'm not really like i gotta go out of my way to get that you'll more than likely either get that naturally or 
I, you know, just from us playing through when whenever we get to the point of fighting Nakes and whatnot. Or, uh, yeah. I guess we should probably equip Akihiko with things, huh? That'd probably be a good thing to do. Uh, 128 defense. It's fine. Plus two luck. Don't really care about it like that. Plus three magic. You're not even really a magic user like that. Though it does help what little magic you do use. Evade ice, sure. Your item I have on you. Lowest chance of getting grit? Sure, why not? An immediate chest? Don't mind if I do. There are two of them. Attack! <sighs> Forgot I was on escape. You know, honestly, we lived through that fight. Somehow getting that escape chance. Maybe because I weakened some of the beetles enough that it raised my chance of escaping high enough. Even though I had two people down. Alright, let's not press escape from this one this time, shall we? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, you actually have electricity that knocks these guys down. Oh man. Get them, Caesar. It's been a minute since I've seen Caesar. Well, we already have Gabriel. Why is Gabriel showing up now? Is this... Like, Gabriel was not showing up at all, and now he's actually showing up? Alright. Agility by three? What a fantastic upgrade for us. Puka continues to just to be our best party member. Despite not being in our frontline party, it's another gold hand right there. We should probably heal uh, off ego, huh? Uh, heal V, of course. Uh, well, hilariously. I really don't care about him as SP at the moment, considering the most it's really going to do is knock people down. Okay. Apparently, being able to see Mitsuru was enough there. Feels bad. I was going to. Try and get that. I don't know why I try at this point. Because, like, it really just doesn't happen. Oh, wow, game. Very high chance. Plus, Hama boost. Like, it just doesn't matter. Uh, I don't think you're weak against strike, yeah. Had a, had a feeling that would be the case, but I have to throw it out there at least, right? The enemy's down. Let's finish this. You'll fall by my hand. And now Gabriel's showing up all the time. What is this? Is it just because I put in a different set of party members that they're just now showing up? That seems kind of strange. 70 magic. Alright, luck plus two, sure, why not? Yukari is tankier than Mitsuru. I think it makes sense. Nice. Already 33, although he was at a higher level than Junpei to begin with, so it's not too surprising to see it. 40 SP for that. That's so expensive. Well, Akihiko actually has 0 HP though. Not that I expect him to have HP anytime soon, considering everything just about one shots in, in this area. Understandable, considering, uh, you know, he's what, like 30 ish levels under where he would, should be for this area. Alright, well, that's two of them now. I do have strike damage with Akihiko, so uh, hilariously we could just let him deal with it. I don't know if this is gonna kill him though. Probably still would need to do at least a little bit more damage. 
No, all right. That uh, yeah, was good enough. I'm uh, very surprised to see that. Was able to do what it did. I definitely want that plus 10 XP. Give me that. Beautiful. 3k XP. I forget this guy has growth, so we'll just naturally get whatever he's going to give to us. Weary Thrust. Ooh, I, I'm so thrilled to get that. Can't you? <laughs> Strength by two, magic by two, endurance by two. Oh, man. Okay. Look at these Akihiko levels. Like, the, people are really going to tell me that, like, I should have used Junpei more over Akihiko. And then you see those levels, and he actually gets better coverage and all that. They're really booby five enemies over here, though. That's not good. <laughs> Alright, we can make that work. Nice. Poison miss, nobody cares, especially when he misses everyone. I don't think you're weak to strike necessarily. I was definitely trying to go for the money over that, considering, uh, do we need money like that? But here we are. Electric boost over regular Zeo makes sense to me. Medium HP heal? Sure. Gives him a little bit of sustainability. Which is already a better heal than Junpei, because, uh, you know, Junpei didn't even have a heal either after, uh, Dia got replaced. Not that I would necessarily keep Dia like that. It's not electricity for you, is it? I don't think. Uh, ah. He's so vain. <laughs> well, that's just unfortunate now, is Ooh, look at that whole 29 damage. You spooked it? <laughs> there we go. That fight took way too long. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. I would've got a shelf of time for that. Can't even be bad at that one. What's our money looking like? Ah, oh, definitely not where it needs to be. Oh, well, that's great. Right, tell me something I don't know, right? I guess we don't necessarily have to do all, everything of Margaret's on this day, considering we still got 30 days to make this happen, but who knows how much of the month the game's gonna end up stealing. You guys negate this, isn't that right? Yeah, of course you do. I remembered after I had already pressed it. Rip. I guess I could have just left this the car either. That would have saved me SP2. You missed Oh my freaking car, please. I don't have SP like that, especially. Much less money is going to stay the same. Not who I used to. Aye, aye, aye. Yeah. Oh, thanks for that, medium fire gem. Woo. I definitely didn't need the money or anything. It's fine. <laughs> Alright, hilariously, we can let Octa Ego take care of this. Three enemies left. Take this. This thing won't give up. Here. The saddest magic damage you'll ever see. Nice, Akihiko. Well, as long as he knocks the other one down, it'll be fine. The other two are gonna be dizzy, so even if this doesn't finish him, uh, we'll only have to deal with one that's able to attack immediately, which is workable. Nice. Need that rank 10 money, man. Let's 
72k. All right, you love to see it. Didn't really use SP like that on that fight either, much less take damage like that. Apparently, Akihiko still got quite a few skills to actually discover here. Not that we've seen a whole too many of skills from him as of yet, but still kind of seems like a good amount. There are two of them. Attack! Let the seer deal with this. It is nice to see that our all-out attack is actually uh, consistently getting rid of people as needed. Just grab the weapon for the money, I guess. Whenever we head back to town, we are just gonna be okay, just rolling in dough, but until then... Oh, we are so poor. There we go, just gonna have Yukari deal with this. She said the thing. It wasn't me. Don't read my video, you can please. Alright. Ring 9 XP. That's what we're looking for here. Oh boy. Alright, well I got hard debated on that one. It did so fast, man. <laughs> Strength plus two and dirt. I mean, I'll keep taking those endurance increases. Uh, me taking less damage while we're getting these guys up to snuff here is definitely ideal. Let me let Akihiko deal with this. Serve my SP just for a little bit longer. He didn't actually end up getting one shot by that. It took quite a bit of damage, like, don't get me wrong, but he didn't get one shot, but I can go for the heal right now just because Akihiko's gonna do his thing, and if I was gonna heal after the fight anyways, it works out. Here. We shouldn't be getting... Uh, based on the way he's leveling, we should get access to the heavy electric AoE at some point. Obviously closer towards the end of his level ups. But at least it's still better than Junbei. I, I mean, if people want to make the argument for Junbei in the comments, they can, but like, everything I'm seeing from Akihiko versus Junbei, like, it's not even close. Like, the only thing I can really think of is like the argument for having fire over electric but electric in this game has been pretty good so watch out there are four enemies all right this enemy set can go now. Enemy left. last one don't let your guard down yeah. you Only one surely you can finish up with a rank 10 plus weapon yeah, right there but so you're right all right, rank 40, not gonna give me access to medium ledger just yet, but that's, we can make it work. I mean, people can probably make the argument that like Jubei might end up having more natural tank and like damage over Akihiko, but all of his stats are so much more balanced, which I guess makes sense being the whole like boxer aspect. Uh, set up and whatnot. But uh, just the versatility, the utility and whatnot versus Junpei, which is like all essentially physical damage with like a baby amount of magic viability to him. Okay, alright. I'm so glad that they made Golden Hands uh, much more manageable in 4 because that is just so annoying whenever that happens. Oh, good. All right. Already off to a good start. Those two are already at full HP, so this won't really matter. And we all have Junpei for this setup, hilariously. After roasting Junpei the entire time, we'll be able to knock him down like that. Uh, you're going to heal off of wind, though you're at full HP, so it won't really matter like that. Ah. 
I don't think you are weak to electric, but I suppose we can always test it. Yeah, just neutral, fair enough. Well, let's go ahead and at least attempt to get rid of one of these guys. Yeah, that's gonna throw it over. Okay, he was afraid? Well, you know, he did almost just get one shot. <laughs> I can believe that. Are you kidding me? What? Oh, Are you kidding me? And now, Aki, he goes not in the hall. Well, I suppose that saves me from having to use a revival item on him, potentially. Although, I guess, uh, you car, he would probably just auto revival, but still. Oh, but now he's not going to get the heal because he's not in the area, presumably, unless he does get this. Though I'm more or less convinced he won't. Ah, of course he did. At least it's slightly cheaper than the others, but I, I still have the money I need. 219k, where are my money drops, man? I need. I'm not going to be able to heal at some point here. And, uh, well, we're going we're gonna to need to change that real quick. I should probably just be running from this encounter if that's the case because of how many things go wrong here, honestly. That's probably the better way to go about that encounter is just not even deal with it. We just don't really have the uh, setup for it. Pandemonium, okay. Highest weapon, let's go. Gun that harnesses an ancient relic's power. Plus three of them. 331 base. That's I mean that's really strong for base. There are two of them. This is a fantastic group for us because Akihiko can just troll it with electric. Yeah, this thing won't give up. Are we even having no SP blows? No. Oh man, if I could get Spellmaster and then just throw it on like Alice or this guy and just keep spamming insta kills, surely I could get the XP out of this and not get Loki, right? There we go. <laughs> I definitely saw a world where I definitely hit Loki out of those three and I would have been so salty as a result, but here we are. It's all good. Poor Karamar, he's gonna be left behind at XP. He feels bad, man, but... Like, Junpei and Akihiko, if I'm gonna be forced to use them in the fight, then... Presumably, I'm gonna be forced to use them in multiple fights throughout the thing, in terms of getting to, uh, Margaret. In which case, at least if I do it right now, I'll have them for... The, uh, first electric, or the first... Him as well. Giant boss fight, as well as all the other uh, consecutive ones that are gonna be needed or require me to use them. I'm a little more spooked about this next one though, considering I have to use Junpei and Akihiko, considering that basically forces me into the healer role, which means that I'm not gonna be doing uh, damage. Which means I'm gonna have to require on Akihiko and Junpei to do the damage. So, uh, building those two up a little bit more in order to be able to allow them to be able to do the damage I need to do if I have to play healer is probably the way to go about it. That's gonna be the man's fire force. I don't remember. It wasn't it like Dark Instill or something for you? It has multiple weaknesses. It is. He's also weak to fire. He also has 999 HP. So how about? No. <laughs> oh no. Oh good. Great. That's great. Okay. Well, you want to be like that? Fine. Then. I know I've got I've got plenty of fire gems on me and whatnot. Everybody's got access to those gems too, so we can just keep knocking them down. Uh, based on that damage, we should be able to get rid of him on this next one using the gem as we did. There we go. 
people will probably make the argument that it's not like the greatest use of my jams, but what else am I gonna use it on? You actually live, bruh. You're still alive, bruh. What? Oh, okay. I don't know. This is gonna end up killing as sad as it is. All right, surely. That still took way longer than it needed to. We did get quite a selection of potential loot here as a result. Give me that XP though. He does drop diamonds as well, which I do believe are like probably one of the best drops in the game in terms of like the antique store stuff you can make with it. Ooh, and we got 370 in out of that. Oh, that's so good. So Aki Hiko healings. <laughs> Hilariously starting to get there. He's probably got relatively the same treatment as Materia, more or less, in terms of moveset, so he should be uh, at least more useful than Junpei. Ooh, got him. Alright, money wise, that's potentially enough for a heal, but I think we still have to go at least a little more in order to make sure. Well, that. Is that only 20k it was? Alright, but it should more or less guarantee us a heal with that amount at the very least. Alright, two dead ends of word. It's just banking off of heals at this point. I can't really be taking fights that I really have to crawl it out in here. There are three of them. Strike first. Uh, Akihiko can deal with the Beatles, that's right. And then Mitsuru can deal with Rockman. Or I can deal with Rockman apparently. Not enough to make him dizzy, but it works. You should probably conserve this SP, but here we go. One's frozen, so he shouldn't really be able to do anything. I should really keep that SP for healing purposes for a new car. So go ahead and yeah, surely you won't miss, right, Akihiko? With your uh, very high accuracy, nice, quote unquote, surely you won't miss. Especially when they're weak. I have to imagine you get an accuracy boost when you're using physical attacks that they're weak to. Surely. Rank 10 XP. Uh, yeah, I did. Okay, well. I wasn't expecting the XP card to go the way that it went, and then I didn't look at any of the other cards, so it was like, alright, well, I'll just hit one then, and, uh, well, it turns out it was the wrong one. <laughs> ah, well, it is what it is. Uh, Akihiko still has barely enough XP to make this work, but enough nonetheless. Why does it cost six? That's so much. Even now it's still so much. Not that Akihiko really has any people that large, but still. Alright, for real, for real though, the XP card here. Hey, there we go. You know, I lost sight of the last one, it just went all downhill from there. Akihiko's up to 44 now, again there, slowly but surely. I don't have initiative going into this fight. We can have any card deal with this though, that's okay. Why are you guys so fast? You would live with one HP. There are three enemies left. I won't lose. Nice to see that one shotting out of Yukari now. Of course, she's already has naturally high magic, and then we gave her another plus three with the bow that we got her. Akihiko, kind of need your SP though. On the off chance I need you to down people with electricity, so. Still one more money. We could probably get away with at least one more heal with the money we have, but if we could pick up a little bit more, that would help set us up for the next run. Two of them. 
But we still have a little bit of SP. <laughs> when I say a little, I mean a little, but we can make it work. We only need one more level for Mitsir as well, and she's gonna end up learning Ice and I don't know if that's gonna necessarily mean that we get kills on some of these enemies, but it'll definitely be a higher likelihood, that's for sure. Also, World Help set us up for the fights where Mitsir will actually end up being required in terms of the giant shadow fights. Is she ever actually required? No, I don't remember. Uh, we got Crusher Gloves. I don't know if that's better for Akihigo than what he has or not, though. Nah, they're one set down from our screen gloves. Okay, then. Akihigo did say, like, his uh, weapon damage was never going to be as high as our sword with, like, me or June Bay or whatever, so... Uh, I'm not sure how much more his base... Uh, Attack damage I expect to go up, but we'll s Alright, well slash damage doesn't do anything, pierce doesn't do anything to him, so... Uh, thankfully we get the cheapest option available, which is just, uh, base connects. Fill up the seat. Free kill. Now if I can just get... More XP cards, that'd be cool. Alright then, well, I guess I'll just have to settle for a weapon then. Brush your fist. Yet again, we already have better for Akihiko. 200k yen, there we go, that's what I'm talking about. Only took clearing like an entire floor to make it happen, but we're setting ourselves up for a second heal, which means we should have a better. A uh, chance of doing the giant shadow by the end of this video. Which I will attempt to do since it's already going to be a longer one, is this? Here are two enemies. Ah. Yeah, that's going to hurt. I'm worried about Akihiko Senpai. Uh, <laughs> well, you know, you and me both here, Fuji. You and me. You know, I think you've uh, mentioned that before, Fuku. You missed, bruh. No, don't be like this. No, come on. Man. <laughs> okay. Alright, you know what? If you want to be like that, fine then. <laughs> bruh. Akihiko, uh, uh, you know, might have seen better days looking at that 1 HP and 6, six SP. You know, you seen better. Of course, you know, when you miss two times when you have weakness against them and they didn't even have a bait, or at least they didn't say they had a bait on them. Like, come on, man. <laughs> Alright, I'll take that to agility increase. More chances for me to get Samsara off before anything bad happens. Never hurts. Man, I really don't have... I really don't have SP like that anymore. Certainly a bit of a yikes, but I know. Try to make it happen. Oh good, well, I've got electric items for that. Am I doing the thing right, guys? Am I using the Tartarus items as it's fake? Rank 10 weaponry? Sure, I might get something better for Octahigo? Potentially. Alright. 71 magic? Uh, Fuga's trying to beat Yukari and Magic over here. <laughs> it kind of sounded like a Koromaru weapon, but apparently it's not. Okay, then. Not a Ken weapon. I doubt it'd be an Aegis weapon. I don't think it'd be Akihiko. Suru? No. Junpei? Maybe? No. Okay. Yukari? Surely not. It's me? It is me. Uh, it sounds like a uh, a weapon costume skin sort of thing. 
Although I would expect that more so out of a rare chest, considering other ones we got from the such. Alright, well we know Akihiko can deal with the beetle. The rest of these though is an issue. Yeah, no, I think we just go from this one. Like, we just don't really got the coverage like that for it. Uh, I guess we could have used our fire gems if we really wanted to, but... Now, we've been using so much of our gems lately. Which is fine. I mean, like, when else am I going to use them realistically, right? This is a much better setup for us. I don't really need to do damage to the beetles since Akihiko can deal with them just through basic attacks. And then, because of that, I can follow up with Mitsuru. Surely she won't miss while he's down. And. Surely Akihiko won't miss these guys. I keep thinking these guys have counter because they're beetles, but uh, if they do, it doesn't ever seem to be Brockles, which makes me think that they don't have it, but considering the beetle archetype generally has some form of counter, I'm kind of surprised that it is. But I'll take it, don't get me wrong. Alright, I definitely want that XP. Nuts. 2900. Oh, that's beautiful. Now we get ice. Yeah, I had a feeling where you were gonna replace boost. Feels bad, man, because if that actually did stack like the other games, I could have had like a 75% uh, ice damage increase. Fish Master. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> They knew what they were doing when they called that skill with what it is. They knew. Yeah, right, what are the chances there's a chest over there? Probably not very likely, right? Truthfully. As long as we're not allowing them to have advantage immediately in the fight, we're not too concerned. Except for whatever reason, these guys are extremely fast. Why are you guys so fast? I mean, you're not very strong, so I guess that makes sense why you're as quick as you are. And some people are probably going to be like, Oh, you should uh, put in a second weaker person to start leveling up with Akihiko now that Mitsuru is uh, maxed out at this point. Uh, at least maxed out in terms of learning for her skills, but she also still has a lot of the coverage I need for enemies within this area, mainly the ice damage, of course. So uh, there's an argument to be made I could potentially put in a, seat, a second weaker, weaker person in here. And then just use the uh, limited coverage I do have with them. But, I mean, who else covers ice? Wait, like, who actually else covers ice? Not I guess. Uh, not Koromaru. Not... Does Ken learn ice, baby? Ice and light? That'd be, that'd be a strange combo, though. Is she really our only ice user? <laughs> Wait a minute. Like, am I lit? Why can't I think of the other people right now? Who else would use ice? Junpei doesn't use it. Ken is light-based, as far as I remember. Um, I guess an Akihiko or a Ledger. Surely somebody else covers ice. The enemy for this. Okay, now. Uh, man, really? Can't think. Uh, I'll try and get that rank 10 weapon at the very least. We got it. It's one that we already had, but we did get it nonetheless. What are the chances to suggest over there? Probably not very high, right? Sure. Immediate stairs, not that we really care, since we're just going for XP. 
Akihiko should be able to go ahead and deal with these guys, so everybody else can go ahead and just defend up. There are three enemies left. Akihiko is actually fast enough to get the attack for the Beatles. Uh, well, we actually have initiative because we attacked them in the back. Never mind. Surely Fistmaster will help uh, just up his basic attack damage or something, which is good. I mean, if it did one and a half time damage, that would actually put it uh, close to what the rest of our weapons are doing. One and a half times is pretty strong, though. They might be more like 1.25. Which, even then, still helps. Like, it's still better than nothing, right? I did it too early. Rip. Alright, well, we got the one more chance. Thanks, game. There we go. It was all a great debate. That's what it was. Alright, Fist Master. The place is Sonic Punch. Sure. Well, maybe. I mean, I'm guessing it just increased basic attack strikes for you, but we'll see. Increases damage dealt by a fist weapon. Okay, yeah, so uh, basically, Weapons Master, but worse. Specifically, only works for his weapon type. But considering it, uh, that's the only thing he ever gets, it makes sense. There are four enemies. Uh, we are very much so pushing our luck right now, but we have zero SP on basically everyone at Besides Mitsuru. Okay. We can make that work. Probably should be at least saving a few of these gems, but here we are. I will be taking that money. I absolutely will be taking that money. 76k, don't mind if I do. Alright, not too bad of a farm session for this one. I mean, we ended up getting Akihiko to 50 plus and uh, more or less finishing Junpei for the giant shadow fight. And with those two out of the way, we should have relatively good coverage, at least for the first couple of uh, giant shadow fights, in which case we could probably hold off on the farming for a little bit. As if we ever have to uh, cover for Ken and whatnot, I'm sure that we will. Oh man, that's a birth Ken, huh? I don't have AoE coverage on anything anymore. <laughs> Normally this fight would be fine, but considering I don't have the electric coverage like that. You know, I think it's that point. I think we gotta go back. Go ahead and heal us up. 600k? Well, we had over a milli. Although that more or less sets us up for the next set of healing. So as long as we don't get insta-dunked on by the giant shadows there, we could probably make that work. With Gabriel, what can we make with that? We can also check out our spreads. Okay, so Alice is the only one out of the cross I still need. I can make Sindolphin. I could, but then if I do it, I won't... Uh, <laughs> I won't have any money for healing. That's a that's definitely a concern. The hexagon. We can actually make Susano. We could. We, oh man, we have access to Pentagon and it. Surely Susano would do quite well for us. You know what? Do we make the executive decision to make Susano and then just? farm a little bit more later as a result of making them? I mean, we can. It's an option. Oh, yeah, we already made Birdman. That's right. Uh, this is Giant Snick Boy, isn't it? Oh, man. One more level and you'd give us whatever your item is. I really don't care that much about it, though. 
You're gonna learn growth three, that works. You absorb wind at some point, so you'll have zero weaknesses. And you nullify ice, even though you're already strong against it. Yeah, this seems fine. Rip to Michael, but here we go. How are we filling out more of the Aeon Arcana by not even knowing the person that has it, which presumably is Elizabeth or uh, Margaret, based on how uh, Four had it? Unfortunately, he doesn't get any levels, which is definitely not what you're looking for, but we did it anyways. Uh, right. Everybody here we already had through regular versions. How about through the spread here? We can make Mother Harlot now. Would get you growth three, and you, you get Hama boost, which is kind of ironic since I don't think you learn a single uh, instant light insta kill skill like that. The stats are definitely there. You're also level 74. You're only weak to the fire, too, and you have two repels. That's pretty good. It also does fill out the compendium more. Uh, or why not? Uh, what if there's what if there's something different we can hit here? Did we not make this bird already? I feel like I did, but it would also it would also be like extremely strong as a result. Uh, this is fine. We can always recall. You have three nullifications. Like I just now noticed that he actually has three nullifications. What? Why is he actually OP? <laughs> no, wait a minute. Show me your strength. Okay. He only has one weakness, which is relatively niche as is, because it's of the physical, but it's only a 1 in 3 chance that they realistically have it. Wind Dam, sure. And you have Nullify Dark, so you... <laughs> based off of uh, one of the skills we have on you already. So you actually have four natural nullifications. Like, that's straight up, like, re taking into the Reaper fight worthy. Maybe even, like, the Margaret fight worthy. The stats are not necessarily there, but considering if you just nullify all the damage, then uh, it doesn't matter, right? Something's about to happen to the full HP heal? No, no, I think I'm good. I think I'll keep my full HP heal. It's not party wide, but it is full HP. Oh man, just enough to make sure you don't get a Tetra right there. I mean, four, three natural nullifications, a fourth nullification, the dark. So I can't get light or dark insta killed. I nullify wind, I nullify electric. So realistically, the only thing they can use on me is fire, ice. Or physical damage and then if they try and use physical damage once I get Tetra I can set that up and then literally the only thing they can do is either attack into my barrier which the game really does not like to do like it actively tries to avoid that when it can so you can actually mess with the AI like that which will basically only force them into using fire or ice which if I wanted to be even more cheap I could throw on fire and ice nullification in which case they can literally only use ice or attempt physical attacks which if i put up a barrier every time the only thing it could realistically do is use fire or ice on me which if they don't have that just means they literally can't attack me why is this bird actually goaded like i know we i know we brought over nullify dark but like this is actually insane like what is going on here Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I could make Suzanne. I could. But then if we do it, uh... Well, I say I could, but I only have 400k, so I don't... You know, maybe I actually can't here. Uh, he did learn Heavy Ice right at the end. That's kind of nice. You also have Wind Dam, so your wind is going to be doing numbers. The fact that you have Batra at the end of that is kind of hilarious. Although, you could just replace it with Tetra at that point and work out just fine. Uh, yeah, so Birdo pretty good. 
we're doing like extremely good actually with the setup we have going on with them. And uh, one lovely now, Akihiko. 51. Okay. Alright, you know what? I wanted to do it at the end of this video, but I think we'll go ahead and save it for the next video. I think I still want a few more levels on e Akihiko before I go into that giant shadow boss fight. I also want to get some more money so I can make Suzano. And then I want to go into the boss fight in the video. Alright, so that's the general objective of what we want to do in the next video. So, a little bit of farming. Maybe get him up to like 60 or something. So that way he's like on par level with the boss. At least based on the priestess one. They might increase the level as we go on. Which would make sense. So, uh, they'll be relatively within the area. And not like 10 levels down from the boss. Which would make it more realistic, especially since I can't really afford him to be getting down 24-7 if I'm the healer in that fight. So, yeah, that's going to be the general objective for the next video. Appreciate you guys for watching. Unfortunately, we weren't able to do the uh, fight at the end of this video. Sorry about that. But we will go ahead and do it in the next one. Appreciate you guys for watching. We'll see you then. See you.